Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video I wanted to talk about an old renderer that I had, which used a very weird way of rendering voxels. And I forget exactly what inspired me to do this, um... But I kind of wanted to start experimenting with meshed base, base approaches or something along those lines. And I ended up stumbling upon this interesting idea, which is um, what if we just render meshes as being voxelized through shaders, like only the fragment shaders doing pretty much all the heavy lifting. And there's a few errors and caveats to doing that. So like, here's a, a simple example that I got working in Shader Toy. And it just takes a triangle with three vertices and then draws a plane that's voxelized through them. And you think this would be really, really fast to render, but you have to do marching and everything. I, I spent like two months probably on just trying to derive a math function that could do this algorithmically without needing any kind of marching steps. I got kind of close. It was really hard challenge, but I don't, at this point, I'm just thinking it's impossible because I reached out to a few of my professors or one of my professors and and they were like, I don't know, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> um, because of the, well, yeah, just kind of modulus operators and things were getting super messy and there's not really a way of, of doing it, to my knowledge. Uh, but if you want to take a stab at it, that would be great. Really interesting if somebody can figure that out. But the way that I got it working is just by using some Boolean plane objects and then marching each step through it, which is, is decently fast and it gets you this kind of result. Now the, the issue is, is how do you take this shader and then make it turn into this voxelized stuff? And the way that you do that is for every single triangle on the screen, you make a bounding box around the triangle using a geometry shader. And that bounding box is expanded and then you just ray march it normal like or normally like you do in the shader here. Um, and you get pretty decent results. I think the reason why this runs so quickly is because of early de early depth testing is still turned on. Be even though I'm setting the depth manually per pixel, since I'm setting the depth manually farther out, because it's always marching into the geometry and not randomly around the geometry, it generates um, pretty quickly because of um, the depth buffer doesn't fail every time. Sometimes, sometimes you um, can get occlusion and it, it doesn't have to render every triangle in the whole scene, which is great. I'm pretty sure that if you were to convert this to a multi-pass, where first you render like a base mesh of everything and then you do a second pass where then you start doing all the marching using the discard function it would be a lot faster and I mean it's working on my computer which is an RTX 3070 which is a very fast laptop and you know it's not doing the best uh, FPS but it works for the scene. Um, so with that kind of explanation of everything, you 
I've kind of started coming to like interesting conclusions about voxels and things, which I'm sure everybody eventually does when you start working with voxels, which is just meshes are so much faster for everything, almost universally. And the funny thing is the problems so that were are with voxels are solved with with meshes here and you can render billions of voxels without even needing to store that much data and um you might be able to even make this even faster by just meshing the individual voxels but there are some reasons that this is super duper handy in cases where um you just want to have like plug and play where this is literally just a shader in Unity where you can just drag and drop onto any kind of scene that you want. Uh, and then it just immediately gets voxelized. I think I also have like this up here, which is, I think this is Coconut Mall model or something I was experimenting with. But, uh, yeah. Um, and, sorry, I lost my train of thought. But, yeah, animation works really, really fast here. Because it's a shader. And before, with animation, I think Euclidean was trying, like, 10 years ago or something to get some kind of voxelized point cloud thing going and, and the problem with that is there's just too many moving elements and that meshing already solves super easily and and if you want to keep the style of a voxelized scene that's super high detailed well you can just apply this shader on top of it and then it will just automatically do whatever your animated mesh is doing which is pretty nice um, although I couldn't get it working perfectly, uh, just cause I kind of started running out of stamina for the project. Um, just because of the technical li limitations and things. And the voxels just started getting so small that it's just like, well, why don't I just start doing meshed graphics at this point? Um which I'm not as interested in because it's mainly a, like a solved problem for the most part. Um, but voxels are, are kind of like one of those ones that are a bit tricky to, to do. Not because they're slow, but just because they're just interesting to an interesting assumption about geometry that you can take advantage of. Um, but for forward based rendering, you can mesh everything, which is going to be so much faster. Um, I started making a, a software ray tracer for a while, but then I also came to the conclusion that, yeah, just go with the RTX hardware itself I'm like, if I'm going to do ray tracing. So maybe voxels aren't really that great for anything at all, except for maybe physics and even then it's probably not even that great i think the main advantage of voxels isn't anything to do with speed or going faster than traditional graphics but just the simplicity of being able to understand what you're editing i think is very valuable um, working almost like more of a painting application rather than a mesh vertex based application would be super interesting. I'm sure there's probably applications already out there that do that, but I kind of want to make more of get into more of like physics based voxel um things uh like i have over the past few weeks 
which I'll probably make a video on later, but I did want to make a video on this at some point, and that point is now. So yeah, just if you guys have any other questions about this software and technology, just leave them down below. I'll probably answer them. Um, but this was pretty fun to experiment with. And uh, I'll see you guys later.